Today on the table I have the Delton 316M and the Delton 316L Optics Ready. You will see a price split. This is a cheaper firearm. The Delton 316L over the 316M. Currently right now it's a $248 split. But they always run this one on sale so sometimes you can get this one for just $30 more than the L. Uh, the L is a lighter firearm, I believe by almost a pound. I'll roll the weights in. You also get a different barrel twist. The 316L has a 1.9 twist. The 316M has a 1.8 twist. Underneath the handguard, it's the same. Uh, you get a metal heat shield, very quality handguard. Looks like the barrel contour is also the same underneath the handguard. But now the 316L, this one actually drops down to 0.65. I'll mic it up and roll it in if I'm wrong. But you got your standard 0.75 back here, 0.65, and then it goes back out to your half inch by 28 thread pattern, I believe. I'll roll it in if I'm wrong on that. Where the 316M has a straight barrel contour all the way back. I believe they call this a government profile. The upper receivers, they're both the same. And they do have the white lettering on there. I like that a lot. Uh, your 316L, where your 316M uses a nitrated finish. The gas block on the 316M is pinned in. I like that a lot. And you also get a sling swivel on the gas block on the M. Your 316L uses Allen's keys. Now, if you've ever been in like the automotive field or something, the easiest way to get a bolt loose that's stuck is you heat it up and you vibrate it. What I personally do is I heat it up with a torch, and then I cool it with WD-40 till it stops smoking, put a wrench on it, and then you just tap on the wrench, comes loose every time. A gas block heats up and the barrel vibrates it quite badly, so I don't feel there's any place at all for any sort of screw or bolt near the gas block. You can prevent that from happening if you were to stake in your Allen keys. The, this one currently is not staked in, but all you'd have to do is take like a punch or a chisel and peen it over a little bit, and that would prevent that from happening. I did throw a magnet on this. This gas block is magnetic, so it is some sort of steel. And they do use four Allen keys instead of just two or one. So that'll help a little bit. Uh, the magazines that come with the firearms are also different. With your 316M, you get a P-Mag. With your 316L, you get an aluminum mag, it feels like. Uh, it doesn't look like a stainless steel spring. When I'm done with the video, I'll throw a magnet on that and roll it in if it is a stainless steel spring. But it's a C product mag. Your lower receiver, very similar. They're both high shelf lower receivers. There is a difference though. The 316M uses your standard GI trigger guard right here where you can put the pen in there and this will drop away. Your 316L uses like a Magpul style trigger guard. This one does not drop away, but it is wider to help assist with gloves. Your 316M does come with a rear sight. Very high quality steel. You get your two different apertures. Very nice. Your 316L does not come with any sights and there's no spot on the front to mount a sight. So you're gonna have to run like a red dot or some sort of optics with this. Now what would I pick? The 316M or the 316L? If I'm for sure 100% going to run like an Aimpoint or an EOTech, I don't even know then. I might still go with the 316M, but the 316L with the weight savings, you'd be able to throw that red dot on there and still be lighter or the same weight as the 316M. I don't like the 316L because of the pencil barrel. I do prefer just a little bit bar thicker barrel profile. I also don't like the twist. Well, I shouldn't say I don't like the twist. I like the twist better on the 316M. I don't like the fact that this barrel's blued. 
I do like the fact that this is nitrated. I also like the fact that this is ready to run right out of the box. Throw some ammo in here and you're ready to go to work. And you also get sling mounting points. I don't think either firearm's the wrong choice, but if you did have the money to cover the price split, I would recommend the 316M over the 316L. But thank you for watching. Leave in the comments below if you own either of these two firearms, how they've treated you, accuracy, stuff like that. Don't forget to subscribe.